Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation. Now I've had people ask me about threading my sewing machine and spinning a bobbin. Here's a question for y'all that asks this stuff. How do you expect my camera from sitting right here to be like up here? I'm not always going to do everything on my phone. And... This is not tall enough for that. So if I wanted to do that, I would have to hold this device. Not this, because right now the stuff, you know, doesn't work with this device or my phone to be able to transfer the video. Even though I have right there I do have the tripod for that camera, but right now I'm not able to use that camera to put video up here for you. So in order to do what somebody wanted, first of all, when I take these ones, I pop a um, spool of thread on the inside of this. Like what in the world is on my finger? Tape. Anyway. So I take a spool of thread and I shove it inside of this because that's not going to work up here without doing that. And then, of course, you know, because that right there is serger thread. My Singer Heavy Duty 4452, not the Sears Kenmore, which to do that one, that's a whole different animal right there. So for those of you that want to know, this whole thing of sitting here at an L desk and being able to have my equipment where it is, like my ring light is up here, um, which is where I generally keep it. And I wasn't going to show my face much this week because of my medical Botox, right? So I can't really be trying to look my brows because it'll give me a bad headache. Um... So in order to do something like this, that people keep asking, hold on, let me show you because it really and honestly is not that easy. Like you may think, oh, she has stuff. No, I don't. I'm a YouTube creator, but I don't get that, you know? And I get my uh, subscribers naturally. I don't purchase my subscribers which there's a whole other story to why these YouTube these YouTube channels out here that just do the same mundane thing day after day after day after day can catch people's attention to keep enough subscribers now I'm not hating on them but those of us that bust our butt on YouTube to make educational content. Nobody watches our channel that much. Like, I have over 700 subscribers, but I get less than that in views. So, it's all about the analytics. Anyway, let me turn this, turn this around and try to show you. Because I'm going to have to pick up the stand that this is on in order to do that. Now, this is my machine. Yes, I always keep this right here unless I'm doing something. That light always comes on when you flip the switch over here. Yes, I love Death Wish Coffee. Okay. And don't ask me to shut the freaking light off when I'm sewing because, duh. And you kind of need that light on. So now here's the thing. I have this, right? Oh, wait. I'm holding this device in my hand. So how am I going to do that? Because you have to be able to thread that through. Do you see what I mean? I don't have a way to actually do that yet. So when you ask me to do that, it's like asking me to take my device and make some sort of weird funky angle with it that 
Not sorry to say, I'm not endangering my electronics. I'm not going to endanger my elect or accidentally shut the video off like I just did so that somebody can have their shits and giggles. Now, I live under the poverty level, so I will tell you all this, and I'm not afraid to say it. I live under the poverty level, so whatever I have, I cherish because I don't have money like that. And some of y'all out there seem to think that I have money like that. And no, I don't. I don't even get $1,000 a freaking month. And some of you all out there, not all of you, thank goodness, seem to think that I can afford to just give my fabrics away or that I can afford for, and this has to do with my fabrics, make something that somebody told me the wrong size on purpose so that they could get that material, which that money came out of my pocket, and then I don't appreciate that shit. And I will straight up tell you, I do not appreciate it. I mean, I have to switch it on. The foot pedal is down here. I'm holding this. And because this is the bigger one, That's how I spin the bottom. You want to see it? And the bobbin is spun. How about that? Now, like I said, when people do me dirty and they think shit's funny, well, guess what? You're not funny. That's how the bobbin is spun. Quick, wasn't it? Anyway, I have to spin that another one. And then I have a half one over there. Right? No, that one's a three-fourth. And then um, sewing videos coming up this week. So something that I have decided that I'm going to start doing is if people don't give me an exact me measurement and you know you did that shit on purpose but you call yourself a Christian, right? Because there's a lot of you out there that claim that you're a Christian but you're willing to lie. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that supposed to be a sin from your book? I believe it is. And you do that to a minister, a licensed minister. But you do that to a licensed minister. How very sinful of you. Anyway, the other thing is I'm not going to just willy-nilly do shit for anybody that can't be truthful and if you want fabric for something if you have a family member that says oh that's beautiful fabric tell somebody this so that we can have it buy your own damn fabric because trust me you can go on to fabric mark fabrics you can go on to joanne fabric you can go to the hobby lobby.com Go to Wally World. Maybe there's some mom and pop fabric shop. Go to a thrift store. But for those of you out there that try to shyst me out of my stuff and then claim you're a Christian, go sit in a corner. Go sit in a freaking corner somewhere because I don't have to take it. And I'm just going to straight up tell you like that. I don't have to take it. And I'm not going to because, quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of some people's bullshit. So when you think you've got me for something, you've literally hurt your own soul. Think about that. Now I'm going to move on to threading the machine. 
but I'm not going to show you how I do that at the top of this. And why? Because those same, same people. So I'm going to turn the camera around again. Like, honestly, I, I am not, that's what I'm saying. I'm not just going to sit, you know, when somebody says, oh, you know, hey, we're friends. Can you make something for me? And you, like I said, you don't want to give me the right measurement. Well, shame on you. Like I said, because like a lot of you out there, you're like, you're claiming that you're a Christian and you end up sinning because you lie. Lying is a sin. Um... I had to get a red thread off of that. I generally dust this down. Um, we take this, put the bobbin in there, and we take the bobbin and we thread it going this way. Put the little piece back on. Now the thread up here, yes, there's a little catch piece up in there. I don't thread that through because it's not exactly necessary. Anyway, if you got a little fuzz on the end, that's what you have scissors for. If you can't exactly see it, put your finger behind it and thread it through. Sometimes it's harder to do with the darker color. Sometimes it's harder to do with the lighter color, depending on the color of thread. Now, there is a handle. Not a handle, really. part on the sewing machine right here above the death wish sticker you take this and you roll it forward now let me show you why I'm not gonna stop this part of the video I'm tired you're going to hold your thread take that forward let it go down it's going to pull a thread across here Tighten your thread. Tug that a little bit. Put your foot down. Like I am to a lot of people right now. I am putting my foot down to a lot of you. I really am. And that is how that's done. Don't ask me again. For the simple fact is, it's not rocket science. It's not brain surgery. That's just how that's done. Period. Finito. That's how it's done. Anyway, remember when there's people out there who try to cozy up and pretend they're your friend just because they want something? That's not your friend. Those are bitches. That's all they are is greedy bitches. Oh, wait. Oh, a minister cuss. You're damn fucking right. And you know why? Because I'm human. And I get a little sick and tired of some people's bullshit. And you're called out for it now. Even though I didn't say names. I don't have to put up with it. And quite frankly, when you stop talking to me because... You didn't want a giveaway from me because you've won one before. You didn't get something from her or you got something from me and you fucking lied about your size. And you lied about knowing what I was making and how it was made because you watched the video. You commented on the video about how I was making something. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get that. When you do that and then you, you turn and you two-face, 
You're not a friend. You're a greedy bitch is what you are. And I don't have to tolerate that. So I'm going to edit this video, upload it, and I'm going to bed. And no, I'm not doing my outro. Bye. Good night.